Hello, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Motive Trending. Hari ini special sebab kita ada guest uh, guest kita. <laughs> <laughs> It's my co-host for this show. Yeah. We have Emilia Henderson in the studio. Hi guys. I tak pernah lagi duduk kat kerusi ni tau. Eh, not yet ke? Uh-huh. It's good lah, now you're sitting there. Yeah. So, how are you feeling after this breakup? Um, I'm feeling okay lah, Sean, to be honest. Uh, macam, semua okay. I think macam semua benda jadi for a reason kan? So, right. I mean, I've... And it's a good thing. I mean, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be lah kan? So what does love mean to you? Love the definition of your, your love. But you know what? I bukan seorang yang sangat pakar dalam topik ini lah sebenarnya. Dan mungkin kita kena, you know, macam refer kepada pakar. So who, who, who is this pakar you talking about? I have a friend actually yang bawa hari ini yang mungkin boleh membantu I dengan menjawab soalan-soalan ini. Nonsense you talking about? I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, you ingat you je boleh surprise you I dengan soalan pasal my personal life. A friend, I have a friend. You brought a friend to the interview. Sekejap, I kena check dulu. Is my friend ready? Sekejap, you sabar dulu. You want to see who my friend is? What you mean? Kita ada budget ke drum roll? Brrrr. Guys. Hang on, let me grab her for a second. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Go sit over there, Sean. This motive trending is about you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and for helping us spot your surprise. Get us out here. What are you doing here, baby? I tumpang kereta dia. Pas tu I cakap, oh, I ada shoot nearby. I tunggu dalam kereta jap pas tu I ambil grab pergi. And I texted him, oh, I dalam grab dah. Oh, oh yeah, ke? So this is your shoot, actually? Yes. Inilah motif trendy yang sebenar. Kau orang terkejut ke tak? <laughs> Obviously, Bay tak terkejut because we plan this with you. Tapi Sean, perasaan macam mana? You say you have a friend? I'm yeah. like, why why would you bring a friend to this interview? Because actually the interview is about you. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's the thing. Dude. So, yeah. So, I, I'm just lost for words right now. So, just cannot talk. Okay, okay. kita bagi dia kita bagi dia masa dulu. Be, be. Kau nak say something ke? Uh, member terkejut. Tapi firstly, uh, daripada pihak gempak kita orang nak ucapkan tahniah. Thank you. Uh, for your marriage the other day, which went viral. Everybody loves it. It was so cute. And I can say, uh, honestly, one of the most beautiful weddings Amy pernah nampak in my entire life. We, cr- I was crying, guys, the whole <laughs> night. It was, it was terrible. I felt like I went there. I was like crying. I do this with Blabibi, and we were all crying. The whole table was crying. It was so cute. It was, uh, it was all Bella actually. Like the vision that you see, all that, the vibe that you see in the wedding. It's all, it's all her, man. Like. No lah, tapi Shampoon, you helped out. You gave your input, I did, what I did. you like, and I think. He helped to back me up with certain decisions oh, that maybe are yeah, not super yeah. traditional and not the usual way to do a wedding. And okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, you you supported me. There are many people in the audience who have a lot of questions about you guys' marriage. But before that, I do want to ask Bay a couple of questions. Okay. So firstly, can you tell us a bit about your background? My name is Bay. Uh, I I come from a graphic design background actually. So I studied graphic design in uni. I was like, okay, actually, I quite like doing content. Mm-hmm. And all this while, can you do content for fun sometimes yeah. and you grow from there. But Mas the pandemic, I was like, maybe I can, you know, do this seriously because I, I do enjoy it. So started from there, and then I think Mas the pandemic, I was quite lucky that still the part freelance jobs for modelling, still the part content jobs. So from there, slowly just kind of um, grew. Yeah, and I think seeing Sean's career, I I'm much shyer compared to Sean. I'm a bit introverted. I'm a bit more shy. So I think in terms of of pretend to be someone else, I I rasa susah sikit. Yeah. Yeah. Faham. Untuk korang kat rumah yang baru macam nak start kenal Bay siapa, you gotta get on the Bay train. Okay, I'll tell you. Sebab I kenal Bay sebenarnya sebelum saya pernah jumpa Sean. I know you first. Did you know Before that? I knew Sean. Yeah, I yes. knew you first, right? And then I ended up working with Sean so much. Tapi I met Bay a really long time ago. Kita buat macam musical theatre together. Mm-hmm. Dancing right? through Broadway, right? Exactly. Yeah. When I was, I can't remember, we were both so young. I was 11, I think. So I must have been like probably 14, yeah. 15, something macam tu. And she's always been the most talented, most beautiful girl. She lights up every room that she walks in. Into. And so bila I first dapat tahu yang you guys were together, I was honestly so happy because I feel like it's such a it's so perfect. Kelak <laughs> tapi cerita dia di sebalik tapi whilst I knew you guys independently, I didn't know how you guys met. Yeah. How could like what what's going on? What's going on? Somebody explain. What's, going on? what's the story? I guess I just decided to take a chance. To... You took a chance. Yeah, that's Wait, the story. where did you meet her? Like how did you know Bay in the first place? We space? started off as YouTube friends. YouTube friends? Is that even a thing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so. Before all this that you see Sean kat TV whatever like I I started off making YouTube videos first. 
where I do like silly videos here and there, just trying to be YouTuber lah, right? Doing something. Mm. And then and masa tu, I had a YouTube channel as well, yes. and I was ah. doing um, a lot of covers, covers and original music. Uh, and so I think masa tu, there were not that many people on YouTube from Malaysia, and, and right. it was a very yep, small yep. circle. So we subscribed to each other, and not like we talk apa ke, like yeah, just for just years, for years, we just follow each other online, subscribe yeah, to yeah. each other, and then. So I actually found her on YouTube first, and it took me like almost a year to find her Instagram though. Because normally after you find someone's YouTube, you obviously find their Instagram, and then you like. You, you stalk their profile, right? Right, like right, right. What they are, what they do, right. and their style, their much money, everything, what not. Much money, they had the IG, ka apa? Oh, no, because you didn't put it on your YouTube. So no. they're much money. Oh, okay, okay fam. <laughs> but kalau saya minat dengan dia, takkan saya nak asyik tengok video YouTube dia. And it's very hard, sebab video YouTube dia bukan macam vlog or anything. It's just menyanyi. So itu je, I nampak frame tu je. Saya macam nak tengok lagi. And then one day, my friend bagi tahu, aku dah jumpa IG dia tu. Oh yeah. I was like, oh. Wait, show me the, the profile that one I said that thing. So she showed me the phone and then I saw I was like, oh, so thin profile dia. Then I was like, patutlah saya tak dapat cari sebab nama dia dia bukan B A Y D O U C E T right now. Yeah. Nama dia dulu B A Y D O U C E T. Macam mana nak cari? So I finally found it. So yeah. He did was shortly after Instagram introduced Instagram stories, he replied one of my stories. Oh. So that's how it happened, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the beginning of everything. I just decided to take a, take a leap of faith and like just DM her and see what's up because I don't know. We can't really expect of her. And to be honest, I didn't expect somebody like her to like like someone like me in that sense because I don't know, man. I'm just like this normal like guy and Chinese guy, whatever. Yeah, I put normal too. Do you want to make me cry? <laughs> Okay, but I have but a story yeah. to tell you. <laughs> no, <laughs> since I told since I told the audience macam mana I boleh first jumpa dengan Bey, sekarang cerita macam mana I first jumpa dengan Sean pula. Okay. So, we I met you first, tapi selepas tu bila I first tak berlakon, I had this job called Keluarga Pontima. <laughs> and it was the most insane story because they said you're going to be like one of two siblings and you have a twin in the story. I was like, I have a twin? And then I get to set on the first day, I'm like, this is my twin? <laughs> Sampai sekarang, saya tak boleh brain. But that was the first time I worked with Sean. I ended up working with him, I think, like five or six times again after that. Mm. And throughout the course of that, I think we developed like a really good friendship. And then sampai sekarang, kita boleh sampai dekat GMW. We've done three seasons yeah. together. And so, I've never seen him in my entire life glow as much as he does when he's talking about you, babe. And as a friend, it's such a beautiful thing to see because dia seorang perasia. Bukan saja audience yang tak tahu korang nak kahwin. Sebenarnya, kita yang macam rapat dengan Sean, like his closest colleagues pun tak tahu. Dia tak beritahu, babe. Throughout the course of your relationship, when did you guys realize macam, okay, this is the time that you're going to take the next step into becoming officially like and, and getting wife. married. Yeah. I tak tahu persepsi netizen macam mana bila dapat tahu saya kahwin and everything. Um, so banyak tunggu saya lah untuk bersedia untuk ambil uh, ambil step ni. But tunggu I juga lah sebab for me I, I'm a little bit younger and um, when we first started dating masa tu I was still in uni dia dah baru nak start kerja. Yes. Um, so by the time I graduated, dia macam dah ada career, dah ada macam you know your your betul, your betul. career is growing. But for me, I haven't started yet. So yeah. for me, I nak tunggu till I kind of felt like I have my own jobs and I have I make my own money and I feel comfortable yeah, standing on my own two yeah. feet. It was um, I think it gave me the opportunity to explore my own career without this pressure of like oh. Is, that's is the Sean's boyfriend I shot, you know, yeah. like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nobody has to bring that up mm -hmm. when I'm at yeah, shoot yeah. And, and I can just kind of grow my career in a way that is like more organic in more the sense organic. for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's not just about career, guys. Like, take it from me. Like, when you do things in the public eye, also, you're opening yourself and your relationship, which is nobody's business but, but yours. How long have you guys been together? I think eight, eight years now. Yeah, Christmas this year eight will be eight. Eight years? Eight, eight, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know for that long, lah. But by Christmas this year. Yeah, Christmas this year will be eight years. About seven and a half. <laughs> yeah. That's my entire friendship with him. Oh yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. From from day one. He's been lying from day one. Dude, I, I, I knew about like four years ago. What do you mean eight years? No, no one asked anything, so I just didn't say anything. Like. I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> What is his personality like behind the scenes when he's with you? Give us some some mm -hmm. intel. 
I think there are parts yang sama and parts yang tak sama. Obviously, mm. in real life, tak adalah hype sangat all the time. Yeah. Um, I think the part that I appreciate about you at least, I think a lot of people bila, I mean, watching him from TV and stuff like that, maybe you feel like, oh, always crazy and always hyped and always that. But in real life, we have a lot of very chill conversations also. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Um, chill, real, but raw. Ada je Random. yang yang sama with how he is here lah. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm at home like, babe, can you be quiet, <laughs> Jab? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't talk so much though. I just like okay. But sure. sebenarnya it's good. And I agree with what you say because I jenis yang I'm a bit like lower energy and uh-huh. a bit like more chill. So it's nice to have someone like him around yang make you excited to wake up every morning. You know, like make you feel like there's passionate about yeah, life. Yeah, um, and a bit more. I think you're a lot more fun than I am naturally. So, you you help me have more fun. That's good. <laughs> like I'm yeah. grumpy till about like 3 p.m. You me know what too. I mean? Like I'm not there yet. Me too. I wake you. up in the morning. I'm like, baby, I need coffee. <laughs> and he's like, let's go. I'm like, no. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. What are some of your favorite things about her that made you know that she was definitely 100% the one? The first thing in my mind was like very pure, very innocent, but not innocent in a naive way, but it's just the innocence of, of her, you know, the purity that she she has that I see. And that personality ni adalah segala-galanya yang saya cuba nak jadi dan cuba nak sampaikan. Because saya percaya dalam hidup ni, uh, in my own religion, what I believe, like obviously as a Christian, we want to be more Christ-like as we can. To me, the closest example that I can find in real life was was her. Kalau saya dapat dia dalam hidup saya, saya rasa benda tu dia akan membantu saya not just in this worldly life but dia akan membantu saya untuk bina uh, diri sendiri my own character that I hope God sees that is is so I like that's what I want in that sense. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> dia, dia terpaksa jadi cikgu disiplin lah sikit. This is a question that I think like maybe we found it online but like what kind of love language exist between you guys like is he the kind of like let me get you flowers or is it more <laughs> like oh your tires punch it then let me fix that for you like what's what's the what's the he's a very acts of service kind of person right um i think dari awal pun in our relationship we were like kila buat semua test ni we're very different yeah and so i think the one thing about our relationship is even in eight, after eight years we're still learning about each other yeah. of course. because there's so much to learn it's not one of those relationships yang macam Oh, you just get me from day one. You just get me. No, it's been a lot of work put in yeah, to understand yeah. each other. To, so I have to train myself to much. Like, okay, let me do do a little bit of something for him today. Um, yeah. Tapi for me, it's like words of affirmation. And I think for Sean, it doesn't come so naturally in the beginning. Dia macam nak cakap apa? Eh? Like macam. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of practice also. Yeah, yeah. So but uh, my love language is acts of service, right? If someone does something for me, to be I, I feel appreciated. And I feel loved. Dia punya is words of affirmation. So, dia perlukan seseorang untuk encourage dia. Doing good today, look Or beautiful today. Or quality time, which honestly, bila dia shoot drama, yeah, macam memang, tak ada quality time langsung lah. Yeah. Like, you yeah. still love me? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like that. And the tough part is, naturally, saya bukan orang yang... Saya susah nak express apa yang saya rasa dalam diri sendiri. Because if she needs words of encouragement, she needs words of affirmation, and that's her love language, I kena belajar untuk... Uh, let loose a little bit and open up a little bit because I love this person and yeah. this is how he feels love and I I have to do something for him instead that kind of stuff. Yeah. Pelik yeah. kan dia ni dia seorang host yang power tapi nak bagi words tu dia macam gagal. Ha uh-huh. hmm, interesting. Dia punya yeah, progress lah, kan? improve. Kidding kidding Roger. What is one of the sweetest things he's ever done? Sweetest I don't know but I I can't think of the sweetest right now but in Probably terms of the lot, one right? that I feel grateful for until today, hmm. is that like two years ago, Sean belikan smart tag for me for Christmas. <laughs> and I've always wanted a smart tag. Tapi yeah. macam, <laughs> I don't want to buy it for myself, but maha. And he surprised me with a smart tag for Christmas. Every time I go through Touch and Go, I'm like, thanks, babe. Thanks, babe. <laughs> That's actually really cute. Uh, I, I, I'm, very very practical. I'm a practical gifter. Yeah. I'm a practical gifter. Saya, saya bagi hadiah pun saya bagi hadiah yang yang you boleh guna. Yeah. You perlukan dalam hidup you sekarang. And smart tag salah satu benda tu lah. I think it's like, it's it's cute. It's, it's a little like things. You, yeah. Siapa kata, Tapi kan, benda siapa kata kata berci- setiap hari kan? So, siapa okay, kata lalu. bercinta kena beli barang mahal-mahal? You know like, oh cincin ni, berlian ni, berlian tu tak. 
Nah, main tu semua beli hati je tak jangan. This is like practical things. Means you know? he listens when I complain lah. Yeah. Next is to buy her uh, the the. NFC no, the NFC RFID. touch and go, the NFC touch and go one. Oh my god! So that she can reload on like the You're phone. You're just like exposing that. me that I tak update anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sebab dia kalau nak top up touch and go kan, jangan nak pergi ni convenience store sebab like, bro. Saya guna <laughs> saya guna phone je tu. Saya guna phone je senang kat sini tu. Kau macam anti okay? Ni sebab dia teach me. <laughs> like bro, kau nak top up dekat? Hey, tak ya, bi. Kat sini je, kat phone senang. How did he propose? Girl, give us the tea. Bro, you gonna tell me? Was it like, cause he's got a big personality. Was it like a very like? No, I think maybe maybe if I had left it up to him, it would have been a a, a big thing. But Eish. I dari awal bagi tahu Sean, I want something simple. I want it to feel like, cause we've been together for so many years that I was like, you know, I just want it to be on a casual night where we're hanging out. Then tiba you jump. And that's what that's what you did basically, right? Pretty huh? much. Like, like, je. No, but it was on a. Like, <laughs> Adalah. Okay, so let me, through, let me go through. Let me go through the, the whole cakap. thing. Oh, Basically, <laughs> it happened on a on a random day. Yang kita dua, both of us had work, right? Yes. And then after I habis kerja, you datang to pick me up. I supposed to pick her up. Then we, then we to went to something. eat dinner. Then we went to eat dinner. Then after we ate dinner, he was like, "Oh, I lupa barang kat rumah. I kena pergi ambil." Okay. And I was like, "Okay." He so, did some acting. Yeah, he was yeah. showing us the the yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, Jom. Then we went back to his house, and he was like, oh, you you can wait downstairs. Tapi uh, I pergi ambil. And I was like, okay. I okay. went in the car. Then he texted me, boleh tak naik tolong I ambil bawa because it's heavy or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, okay. And then I went upstairs, and he had decorated his whole room with candles and and all that kind of thing. And he had a PowerPoint presentation prepared. <laughs> Shock, but he had a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Reason and it was you like, should marry me. No, it was um. What was it? What was your title? It was like. Uh, are, we, are you compatible? Yeah, yeah. How compatible are we to get married? And then it went through much um. You match a game tau. It was like the PowerPoint presentation was set up like a game. That's so then you so click cool. next, and then like the first question was like, can you accept that I'm neat and tidy? So about the joke is that dalam relationship kami. I'm the messy one. Oh, <laughs> really? Sean Yang, very neat and always like, okay, I dump it. Ni, I can't letak balik. Oh, oh. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so he was like, can you accept that I'm neat and tidy? So now, he made like one of those like charts. Yeah, one of those it's charts. Giving it, 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 it's giving like those yeah. teenage seventeen magazine. Yeah, like hundred percent. Like, like, like which one are we gonna uh -huh. work out or not? Yeah, kind of games again. So yeah. I was like, okay, yes, I can accept. Then we went through all the questions, and in the end, I got a hundred percent. So I won. Um, yeah. And then at the end, he had the TikTok filter, tau. You know the TikTok filter that has the young you and then the old you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he had a TikTok filter of him using the filter and he was like, will you grow old with me? Oh! <laughs> But still, wait, wait, wait. It's the shortest thing I've ever heard. The best, actually, the, the shortest thing you've ever heard is coming. Oh, after that, he got down, <laughs> after that, he got down one knee and he was like, babe, will you marry me? And then he opened the box and there was no ring in the box. <laughs> and then he was like, and then obviously my face would have been like, "Man, yeah, like, what's going on?" And then, and then he was like, eh, "Where's the ring?" And then he was like, "Looking, looking, looking." And I pun start panic dah. I just, you bagi ring tu kepada siapa? Like where? Is it? And after that he went, "Oh, kat sini." <laughs> Don't know how to react apart from laugh. Obviously, I say yes. <laughs> That is like the shortest thing the I most ever heard. Proposal. Yeah, just oh threw in God, a little magic show. Have fun. That's so cute. So, Sean, designer of your proposal story, what was the tea? Ush, kalau suruh Sean yang buat, saya dah buat flash mob, saya dah buat balloon, kapal terbang, tarik dengan benda tu, you know, will you marry me, driving dan semua. Saya akan buat benda tu, tapi shh, sebab request dia nak simple, macam <laughs> okay. So saya saya kena siapkan semua benda sebelum dinner. Saya set lighting cantik sikit kat bilik and everything. Hmm, buat presentation tu semua dah ready, rehearse dua tiga kali dulu. Tak tahu. Dia, saya rasa macam saya tengah buat live show yang besar faham tak? Like. Yeah. Okay, so um, berjaya juga yeah, lah berjaya saya dalam lakonan tu. Sebab saya rasa ada satu point masa dinner tu saya kantoi dalam lakonan saya. I was oh, like I after we finish eating semua and then I was like, "Eh hey, babe, um 
can we just go back for for a while? But I, I need to do something. I need to take something from my house. I, I forgot lah. So man, benda ni tak patut jadi. I patut memang patut ambil dah benda tu. You know stuff like that. Blah blah blah. And I felt like I was explaining myself a bit too much at that point. Down. Faham. So, because it's like what what is so penting dekat your house that you need to take like what what like what yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah yeah yeah. Because we're too far. Like yeah, we, we don't stay quite far from each other. So like yeah, that child go back to the house and then she wait downstairs and then I just went upstairs. That time lah, kelangka put masuk bilik je macam. Okay, ini semua dah ada, eh. semua dah ada. Okay, okay. check presentation. Okay, semua complete. Ada ada slide yang hilang. Okay, macam project last minute. Yeah, dia. Dia <laughs> okay, okay, status status. Saya cakap, kau jangan datang dari depan tau, datang dari belakang. Sebab, cause my my room right, they have like a different. Cause if she comes into that entrance from the front to my room. She sees everything already. I can't toilet tu. Bukan, kan toilet dia macam That's angle tak cantik ah. Dia tak betul. Angle angle tak cantik ah. Angle tak cantik. Set dia dah set macam ni. Aku dah set oh, macam faham. ni. Aku dah set macam ni. Dia macam set kita macam ni. Kalau dia masuk dari situ macam tak facing dia ah, tak cantik. Kau bayangkan Nanti macam tu. Pelik, did you film it? Pelik, pelik. So we we did, we did actually I did. I didn't say the best part of the proposal story is actually when I buka pintu, I masuk, dia ada satu stiker, the key mark Oh. Where are you supposed to stand? <laughs> and I thought it was so cute sebab kita dua pun kerja in the industry. Yeah. So when I see that, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to stand there. <laughs> He gave you a team mark? <laughs> yeah, bro. I gave her a team mark, bro. Make sure you stand here sebab angle semua dah set untuk sini. Kalau kau masuk je, sorry lah. Like, Actually, tak I think... Tak ada cameraman nak pan lah. Tak ada, tak ada. To, to be honest, right? I think because it's the both of you, that's actually so cute. Yeah, <laughs> because I thought that was one of my favorite parts, parts, actually. Faham? Um, no? I thought that was one of my favorite parts as oh, well. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Guys, ramai netizen yang puji you guys punya wedding. It was one of fairy tale. It was like watching the prince and the princess of the story get married at the end. It was beautiful. <laughs> okay, so tell us, persiapan tu macam mana? Like, where did these ideas come from? Obviously, when we started really planning, then you're like, oh, I didn't know that I have to make all these decisions and and there was so much to do. Tapi I think the present ourselves as a couple for the first time. Yeah. So we wanted it to be fun for our guests. We wanted our guests to kind of get to know us. We wanted our guests to have fun and eat a lot and, and we wanted it to feel very personal. So yeah like also taking just taking all these things from Pinterest and, and kind of trying to put it together. I think our decorator helped a lot also um, yeah. at least with like helping the vision come to life. Yeah. So that was nice. Me I I feel like I, I've read or uncommon much um oh you know what what do you call this theme for this wedding or what do you call this this style of wedding and I think at the end of the day we were just really true to ourselves like this is my vibe honestly like this is the stuff that I like and you won't regret that in the long run I yeah. think especially 10 years down when I look back on these pictures I yeah. know that I I stuck to my own decisions and yeah. what I wanted and, and I think so same for in you. mind with who you are Another thing that I thought was also really genius is um, one of the one of the really lovely girls there was like, "Oh, Amelia, you've been selected," and I was like, "I'm the chosen one." She's like, "Here's the digital camera," and I'm like, "Wow!" And so you guys gave your friend disposable camera. Ah, uh, yes, yes, disposable <coughs> camera. And like when some kids and bagay guests were like in charge of like taking pictures as well, which is so yeah. smart. And then I looked at the camera, and also your your names were on it. Like she she, she designed that sticker, and then she you designed that sticker. I yourself? think three days three days before the wedding. I was panicking, <laughs> um, and then I was looking at all these disposable cameras that I had bought to give out, and I was like, they could be cuter. And so I designed the whole thing. I went to the usual printer that I go to near my house to get stuff done. I was like, can you print sticker? Please print for me. And then he printed it, and I was like, nice. I paid 15 ringgit. I went home. I cut all them out. And I stuck them. Yeah. You did that yourself. And then Sean was like, are you okay? <laughs> I was not. Yeah, dude. I was stressed. Said B, tak ya lah buat ni semua dah, tak ya. Kau stresskan diri je, je. It's okay, it's okay, senang. Okay. But just so you know lah, like, your effort was like really appreciated. <laughs> oh, we just chill je, we just enjoy yeah. whatever happens. But yeah. we really wanted our guests to feel happy and feel comfortable and feel like, like they were having fun throughout yeah. the night. Digitally, I've seen this cake across every single FYP, <laughs> semua social media. I was like, cake ni, cake yang paling besar pun ada apa? It was delicious. I'm gonna say, right? It was a really good cake. But it was a beautiful cake, also huge, but also practical. Like, where did this cake come from? And <laughs> whose idea was it to get the biggest cake I've ever seen in my life? It's her idea. She wants a big. <laughs> Dia memang nak cake yang besar supaya semua orang boleh makan, semua orang boleh enjoy cake tu. Sebab 
kek tu biasanya kek perkahwinan dia kek bertingkat-tingkat. Yeah. Obviously, I've seen this on Pinterest. I've seen this online overseas or on the board like just really long cakes or really big yeah, cakes. Yeah. Yeah. And the moment I saw the first picture, I was like, this is my cake because I don't really like eating cake. Oh. Uh, yeah, actually, to yeah. be honest, saya pun really? tak suka makan cake sebenarnya. So, but when I saw this cake, I was it's like... It's dry, it's dry. But kebanyakan cake dia kering tau. And yeah. we're glad that everyone loves it as much as we loved it. Yeah. Because I honestly, I don't even think I saw the cake that night. Dia macam, okay, you just have to try I know, I know we did, but you macam black out sikit when you're doing, you just cut and then you move on to the next thing. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. only like the next day when we're looking online, I was like, oh, our cake was so nice. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it was a really nice cake. Did you guys get to try it? Yes, we, we got to take a, a whole Tupperware box home. And then so after we got home from the wedding, it was like 1am, we were sitting on the floor like, tengok story, baca comment, makan cake. That's so cute. Yeah. Postmortem pasal wedding. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You guys were the host of your own wedding. Kind? Yes. Kind of? okay. Like you, know, we, we, we pre-recorded. Yeah, yeah. That's we pre-recorded so... a bunch of voiceovers. When? How? How did you guys time it? Like, know what to say? Like, this was Sean's idea. I think Sean wanted to have fun. Yeah, yeah. And then we decided like who else should host it, but us, I guess. So um, that is a power move. Can you imagine just like because you are a host and you both creative, like hosting your own <laughs> wedding? We were like, we could put the Oscars music in for right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ada macam Oscar punya music ada. Oh, the orchestra semua macam tu kan. Baru VO tu masuk. Selamat datang tonton orang puan-puan dan bla-bla-bla macam tu. All this kind of stuff. So we did those uh, VO. We recorded it. Itu pun sebab Sean rasa macam kita nak orang santai, relax, and I want to inject a bit of me in it. So I do my own VO introductions. And untuk introduce dish-dish yang akan datang, kita guna kita punya like parent speech, um, mother-in-law speech, uh, my best man speech, uh, link, host untuk link kepada next segment tu. And lah. I think when we host sendiri pun, you, you set the tone for the night. So your guests 100%. pun rasa macam casual sikit, yeah, yeah. we can joke around and play around. <laughs> Actually sebenarnya kita nak cakap thank you dekat you guys for allowing us to be a part of this journey and allowing everyone on that night juga. You made it such an inclusive experience. It felt yeah. like, I rasa semua orang dekat situ pun rasa macam, oh my god, we're like in, like stakeholders in this relationship now because we've learned so much about you and really come on this journey with you guys. Thanks guys for sharing and thank inspiring you. people out there. Untuk korang yang nak tengok the full episode, korang jangan lupa untuk pergi dekat gempak.com uh, slash gempak most wanted and korang search motif trending. Bye!